is our Trailblazer Award. This award will be presented to one of our longtime supporters and corporate sponsors. We're going to bring up Ken Ashford from the Metropolitan Water District. This award is presented to the San Diego woman business owner who has demonstrated talent, drive, and innovation. Is a pioneer in successfully developing unique products, services, or delivery channels, and has a business with fast-growing revenue and or volume. Our nominees are Wendy Pomerantz Brick, Customer Service Advantage. Well, the board is standing up here. Brandon Cotain, Moms and Business Unite. There's somebody on her behalf because she actually has one of her um, conferences in Atlanta this weekend, so she's out in Atlanta. Nancy Fagan, the Divorce Health Clinic. <laughs> Nicole Matthews, Recess by the Henley Company, LLC. <laughs> Dominique Molina, American Institute of Certified Tax Coaches. <laughs> and Nia Roseberry, Wounded Warrior Home. Bravo award goes to Mia Roseberry. Oh, oh, oh. So Mia was nominated by Denise Tahashi with Malama Marketing. Mia established a nonprofit, um, sorry, Wounded Warrior Homes, just a little more than a year ago. Her daughter was dating a Marine, and his friends had heard about the home cooked meals at Roseberry Ranch. Eventually, more Marines came to her home on the weekend. And Mia hosted as many as 20 active Marines at once in sleeping bags in her home. She noticed a significant change in these service members' attitudes when the comforts of home were provided. She also discussed some of the mental struggles they dealt with after being deployed. Mia then decided it was time to take, make a career change from special education teacher to helping medically discharged single service members with traumatic brain injury and post-traumatic stress disorder transition to a successful independent living. Wounded Warrior Homes is unique in that it provides up to two and a half years of transitional housing for single service members. There's only one other similar organization and they only offer roughly six to nine months. And Mia has been told by others medically discharged veterans that it can take up to two years to completely transition to life as a civilian. After surviving a horrific automobile accident as a child, Mia knows firsthand what impact the brain does to a person. As a result, she is hearing impaired but has never let that affect her life's goal. Mia served in the U.S. Navy, was an emergency medical technician, gained her master's degree, and followed the path to serving others as a special education teacher. Mia leads by example and shows that no matter how large the goal is, everything is possible by having a positive mental attitude, a clearly defined goal, persistence, and unwavering faith. In true trailblazer style, Mia's vision is to expand regionally, then nationally. So let's give her another round of applause. 